myself dr prashant kumar vardhan professor mechanical engineering department gis college of engineering kollan subject topics advanced welding technology me 703a course objective of the subject after completion of the course all student will meet the following objectives to impart knowledge on various advanced welding processes so that the student can apply them in engineering industry applications to develop the knowledge on the design of welded weld joints and the quality control of weldments course outcome after completion of this course the student will be able to achieve deeper knowledge of welding materials technology of welding deeper knowledge of different metals and their properties in well welded constructions knowledge of quality techniques and production by welding knowledge of current computer robotic system and cost of uh, welding operations advanced welding technology these are the seven modules one module one introduction and review of welding processes and joint uh, design joints and two process of fusion welding arc welding arc welding smw gas metal arc welding arc welding uh, submerged arc welding module three solid state welding processes pressure welding module four friction welding sub electro beam welding arc welding welding module five gas tension arc welding arc welding uh, improvements electro selections module six welding metallurgy has weldability of plain carbon steel stainless steel cast iron aluminum welding defects types causes Ultrasound testing, diagnostic testing, safe practices of welding. Prerequisites of the subject is manufacturing technology, welding technology, and joining processes. COPO mapping of the subject. Four COs and the register. 12 pills this is the average this is uh, advanced welding technology any 7 year 3a module 3 lecture number 12 resistance welding Resistance welding is a welding process in which works are welded due to combination of pressure applied to them. Localized heat generated by a high electric current flowing through the contact area of the weld. These are the copper electrodes, and this is welded. Well, this is called nugget, and force is applied. AC power supply, and the force is applied. Working principles: Heat is generated by passing current through electric resistance. Amount of heat produced is depend on the number one resistivity of the material, surface conditions of the material, current supplied, and time. H is equal to I square R T. I means current, amperage. Are the resistivity of the material and T is the time, which is the heat, total heat. Types of resistance welding: spot welding, seam welding, projection welding, flash spot welding. The following metals will be welded may be welded by resistance welding: low carbon steel, the widest application of resistance welding, aluminium alloy, medium carbon steel. high carbon steels and alloy steels may be welded but the weld is brittle advantage of resistance welding high welding rates low fumes cost effectiveness easy automation no filler materials are required low distortion this advantage of resistance welding high equipment cost Low strength of discontinuous weld, thickness of welded sheets is limited up to 
one fourth inch, that is six millimeter. Resistance welding, spot welding, seam welding, projection welding, flash welding, upset welding, percussion welding, high frequency resistance welding. These are the resistance welding processes. Single spot welding, multi spot welders. Spot welding. Spotting is probably the most common type of resistance welding. The material to be joined between the two electrodes, pressure is applied and the current is on. Any three stages are involved in the welding cycle one of the sequence time, weld time, and full time. Three time stages are there. Rule of the spot welding, spot welding may be done on materials as low as 0 0.0001 inch in thickness and in joint having members as heavy as one inch. Bulk of resistance welding is confined to metals that are less than one fourth inch in thickness. Single and multiple spot welding. This is single spot, spot welding machine. This is a electrode and this is multiple spot welding machine. This is a paddle, the pressure is given for contacting the two electrodes. Single spot welding, two types of single spot welding are this is rocker arm, pressure type, press type spot welding. Rocker arm spot welder machine, simple machine. This is a rocker arm, simple and most common, as a two long each holding a single electrode with the upper arm providing a moving traction. Press type spot welding machine, this is a press type, have mobile electrodes, welding head which operates in a single line have greater application in welding heavier sections. Application. Welding period is in spot welding controller. Electronic, mechanical and manually operated device. Weld time may range from the one half hertz cycle of a 60 hertz cycle frequency for light material to several seconds for thicker plates. Well time is important. The temperature must be high enough but not so great. Condition A, smaller electrode on the high conductivity, larger electrode on the low conductivity metals. B condition using a high thermal resistance electrode on high conductivity metals, using a high thermal resistance electrode, tungsten and molybdenum. C condition increase the thickness of the higher higher conductivity metal, better secure heat balance. Heat balance. R, R square and R two to the four conductivity of metals. R one to and R five conductivity between surface metal and the electrode. R two to R three conductivity material. Within the joint metals. So RW is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus R5. These are the R2, R1, R5, R3, R5.
these are the type, type of the troops, type of the troop faces. This is several types. This is a one sided bevel. This is different type of top faces. This is flat, this is bevel, this is half round, this is round, this is different shapes of yeah. Primary function of electrodes conduct the required heat to the weld zone, orbit the necessary force to the weld area, helps the dissipate the heat from the weld zone. Most electrodes are for spot welding are made of low resistance copper alloy. Multiple spot welders have a series of hydraulic gear operated welding types mounted in a framework or radar but using a common mantle or bar for the lower electrode. Resistance spot welding, this is a this is a actual machine, this is a drawing of that, this is strong, this is electrode, this is a well nugget, this is power supply, this is a machine, the electrode is there, this is a welding spot welding widely used in automotive automotive industry for joining vehicle body body parts similarly electrodes currents welding speed and forces type of weld seams similarly is a continuous resistance welding Simulating is a similar to spot welding. Equipment is very similar both in terms of welding current production, control, and the pressing force. However, they differ from the spot welding mainly because of the rolling welding wheel. The most applications wheel on both sides of the workpiece produce the weld. In this simulating, continuous resistance spot continuous welding can be done. This is the two wheel. This is also this. Two wheels are pressed together and the welding metal sits sliding contact. Upper electrode, electrode holder, electrode wheel, lower. Seam welding is a high speed and clean process which is used when continuous tight welds is repaired, fuel tanks, guns, domestic radiators, etc. So, seam welding is being used. Electrodes. Electrodes from seam welders like are disc shaped roller with different face on two, and the rollers may be straight, bevel, or concave. So flat, bevel, double bevel, and concave. Current, current value for C world welding is contingent on several variables. Type of materials, welding speed, thickness of joint used for water cooling, but as a rule, current correct current getting is determined by the trial and error and Best current. So by trial and error, best current is applied or selected. Welding speed and forces, welding speed and capacity of the machine. And uh, it's bigger than electrode force for spot welding. We are the electrode force for seam welding. Bigger machine. So uh, this is bigger. The electric force is bigger than similar than spot welding. Types of weld seam, mass seam, joint, light gauge sheet metals, thickness of less than one sixteen inch, that is three millimeter, trench seam, 
the flint joints is frequently employed in fastening tops and bottoms to containers. The lab seems width of the lab for a strong quality weld is usually held at about half times the thickness of the seams. Projection welding, electrodes and metals adaptable for projection welding. Projection welding. Welding is a resistance welding process in which produces conditions of metal with the heat obtained from the resistance to electrical cutting through the work parts held together under pressure by electrodes. This is the joints together. Example of projection welding. Resulting welds are localized at predetermined points by projections, embossment or intersections. Localization of fitting is obtained by a projection or embossment on one of the one or both of the parts being welded. The flat electrodes. CG pieces are seat, work pieces. This is a projection building. This is projected projection. This is projection building instead. These are different type of joints by projection building. Electrode. Flat area. Electrode is flat. Large enough, irregular area, electrode is shaped, determined correct current and required pressure, trial run, careful inspections, established current and pressure. Metal adaptable for projection welding. Not all metals can be projection, can be projection welded, and copper as a rule, do not blend them themselves. To projection welding because the projections collapse too easily under pressure. Aluminium projection welding is generally limited to extrusive parts, galvanized sheets, steel, tin plates, stainless steel, as well as most other thin gauge steel can be successfully projection welded. Advantages of projection welding is that the electrode life is increased because large contact surfaces are used. Very common use of projection welding is the use of special nuts that have projections on the portion of the parts to be welded to the assembly. Flash welding. This is already shown to you. This is flash welding. Glass welding process. This is also flash welding. By way, stress welding pressure is given, so welding joint is there and it is welded joint. Welded joint together. Flash welding. The two pieces of metal to be joined are clamped in dies, which conduct the current to the work. The end of the two metals move together until an arc is established. This is an arc is established, so joined together. Flash welding. Basic steps in a flash welding sequence are as Position the parts of the machine. We clamp the parts to the dies, electrodes. Apply the flash voltage. Start platen motion to cause flashing. Flash the normal voltage. Terminate flashing. Upset the weld zone. Unclamp the weldment. Return the platen and unload. 
The above site illustrates these basic steps, additional steps such as preheat, dual voltage flashing, post heat, and trimming of the flash may be added as an activation dictates. Advantages, flexible cross-section set, flexible positioning for smaller cross-section set. Impurities can be removed during offset acts. Paying surface deconditions is not critical except for large parts, can weld rings of various cross sections, narrower heat zones than those of upset welds. Repetitions produce unbalance on three phase primary power lines. The ejected molten metal particles present a fire hazards, require special equipment for removal of flash metals. Difficult alignment for work pieces with small cross section area. Require almost identical cross section parts. Applications fill track rims, ball bearing raceways, bar welding, strip, strip welding during continuous processing, pipelines, upset welding is referred to as bark welding. In this process, the metal to be welded are brought into contact under pressure and electric current is passed through them and the edge are softened and fused together. This is the uh, upset welding. Heated, heated zone, this is the heated zone, clamp, clamping. These two pieces are upsetting. Movable parts, this is movable parts, this is stationary parts. So, heated, this is the heated zone, these two, and this is finished upset welds. Finish upset weld. General arrangement for upset welding of bars, rods, and pipes. So, upset welding. Upset welding. Is a resistance welding process that produces corrosions over the entire area of fraying surfaces and progressively along a part joint. By the heat obtained, the resistance to the flow of welding current through the where those surfaces are in contact. Pressure is used to complete the weld. With this process, welding is essentially done in the solid state. The metal at the joint is resistance heated to a temperature where crystallization can rapidly take place across the fraying surfaces. A force is applied to the joint to bring the fraying surfaces into intimate contact and then upset the metal. Upset fashions, liquidation position at the interface and at the same time some metal is forced outward from this location. This tends to pulse the joint of oxidized metals. Two variants, upset weldings has two variants, joining two sections of the same cross section. Cross -section end to end joints, the bar joints, continuous welded bar joints seems in gold form products such as pipe and tubing. First radiation can also can also be accomplished by flash welding and friction welding. The second radiation is also done by done with high frequency welding. The general arrangement for upset welding is shown in the above slide. One clamping die is stationary and the other is movable to accomplish upset. Upset force is applied to the movable clamping die or a mechanical backup or both. This is method achieving the heat balance. 
this is clamping and this is a good tool. This is Absent velocity, higher velocity helps execute center line of sides. Number one, sides are present because melting points are high. Number two, oxide tends to solidify or harden or get entrapped at the interface. Number three, rapid velocity helps get them moving. Advantages, keep heat at center line during upset, keeps oxide, oxide fluid, helps in forcing oxide out. Disadvantages, excess heating can produce excess upset, more has fiber, turn up. Percussions welding, this is the percussion welding, this is another type of resistance welding, resistance rectifier. So workpiece is the main capacitor, so heated zone is there, this is mobile contact, force is applied and contacted, so joint, welding joint is performed. Definition. Percussion welding is a process in which heat is produced from an arc that is generated by the rapid discharge of electrical energy between the work pieces and followed immediately by an impacting force which weld the pieces together. Principle of operations. The arc is started by bringing the work piece into tight contact with each other. On some equipment, arc started by superimposing an auxiliary 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 frequency AC voltage on a low voltage direct current. This is power supply, weld head, force is applied, current flow, work pieces, and uh, this is two forces both up and down forces is applied. So, welding is performed. Advantages of percussion welding. The percussion process is that heat penetration is shallow around 0.010 0.010 inch. The process possible to weld stellite tips to bronze or stainless steel bulb stems or an aluminium fixture to stainless steel or copper without affecting their metallurgical properties. The process is often used in welding bars, bars and tubings. This advantage, this process has somewhat restricted to application. The boss is generally confined to bulk welding. If used on, the, on larger section, the arc fails to distribute itself evenly over entire surfaces and unwelded spots results in the joint. High frequency resistance welding. This is high frequency resistance welding. This, well, this is roll. This is contact. Uh, so, by this high frequency resistance welding is being done. Tube travel. Current is there, current is process. Well, roll, FX, two roller is there. This is taps. So, high frequency resistance welding is being done. There is some in this. High frequency resistance welding employs a high frequency current to generate the required heat for bonding edges of metal. 
principles of operations process is based on the use of current that is that reverses the at a high rate that is 4000 lakhs 50000 hertz cycle as compared to the line frequency of 60 hertz power supply of high frequency resistance will be considered 60 to 50 60 to 560 kilowatt radio frequency transmitted the transmitter equal to the rectifier so this rectifier so this rectifier this high frequency resistance welding is being done this is a this two rollers and this is clamping this and welding being done Induction of separating. Applications. The process has wide applications and fabricating tubes, applications, fabricating tubes, pipes, and structural shapes, heat exchanger, cables, shuffling, shutting, and other parts where high speed is required. The process can weld it ferrous and non ferrous materials in thicknesses ranging from 0.004 inches to half inch in thickness. Some interesting questions. Which kind of resistance is experienced in upset part welding? A. Electric resistance, B. Magnetic resistance, C. Thermal resistance, D. Air resistance. So, resistance welding is being done by electric resistance. So, answer A is the correct answer. In which of the following can be easily be welded from flash part welding processes? One is A is D, B is lead, C is cast iron, D is cast uh, carbon steel. Easily welded flash part welding process, this is carbon steel. So next lecture, 13, plasma arc welding. So this today's lecture is end. So the next lecture will be on plasma arc welding. Anyone can regarding the this resistance welding, contact in this email address. Thank you.